What's up, ass anglers? <coughs> I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. A little hairball. Not with all that. Hairball. I'm going down on the wife. What? It's shaved. Oh, well. You want to check? I went on the back door then. Oh. It's a little furry back there. No, it isn't. Yeah. It shouldn't be. So you let me eat your ass? No. That's what I was implying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just thought you ate it from the back. Well, you can, but I was talking about, like, <laughs> ass eating. No, there, yeah, I, 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 I didn't. Well. Yeah, you were right in thinking that. You can definitely eat it from the back. <laughs> but I was talking about the ass. No. Which is a no go, anyways. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the McStud Show. Do you know what an ass angler is? No. It's like you're fishing for ass. Oh. You're like. Oh. Bing! Oof. Yes, caught one. That's ridiculous. What? You an ass fisherman? No. No? You know, that's the next thing people are going to come after. Calling people fishermen. Why? Let's just call them fishers because man's in it. I mean, you, oh, I've never heard God. of someone say, I'm, I'm a fisherwoman. <laughs> it just sounds weird. That's true. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. It just sounds weird, but everyone's so fucking particularly picky. Like, why do they always have to have man? I'm sorry. We're gonna start calling it womanstration. <laughs> More Oof. fitting to the fucking dilemma. Oof. Yeah. All right. So we put woman in menstruation. Now they understand why you're such a bitch. Well, what man makes us a bitch? That's, so that's why it's in menstruation. That's that's ridiculous. That, that next, you know, then we're going after man witch. Probably. Can't just be a sloppy. Jo it'll have to be a sloppy Joe now. Yep. Okay, woman witch. Hey, that, hey, that sounds that, even those better. Those sound really good. I what? might have to make them. Slo sloppy Joe's? Yep. That's all right. I'll just get me frozen pizza. Yep. I'm down with that. I told you, you can always cook whatever you want. Your little ham and beans, whatnot. I, I'm cool with frozen pizza. Mm. What? That sounds amazing. What, ham and beans? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Fucking nasty. Ham, beans, and crackers. I don't even do cornbread. I don't even like it. You like me? Well, I like cornbread, but I just prefer crackers. You prefer the corn cob. Yeah. Yeah. Fist me, baby. Mm. Is it ready for bed? Or are you ready for bed? No. Man, I was... Oh, man. What? I really just needed a... Oh, I forgot to tell my kid I was doing a video. Oh. Oopsie. Um, what was I saying? You said you were ready for bed. Oh, I was really forgot mm -hmm. about myself because I really wanted something for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, well if you get Starbucks you can get yourself a breakfast sandwich. And it didn't work. And what do you mean it I didn't was work? just going to get well, I really wanted my popcorn and I forgot. Your popcorn? I went two places and I forgot my popcorn both places. Really? I'm like, fuck it. Well, that's a whole mess. And my jerky is amazing but it's not very good with coffee. Cause it's kind of spicy. Oh, it lights your mouth up a little yes. bit. Which one's spicy? The venison. Oh, the the, the not the not but the, the teriyaki. You're not talking about the Hubie jerky. We're talking about the. Oh no, I haven't even opened the spicy. Uh, or the chipotle ra raspberry raspberry chipotle. Raspberry, yeah. I haven't oh. opened that one yet. But you like the other one. I almost ate that whole bag. But I found with that that um, jerky. Mm -hmm. that you have to eat it within like a day of opening it because even if you like close the package mm -hmm. it doesn't it's harder and you rip it and it looks like paper well maybe I'm just a man but I'm sorry I put that fucking jerky down in about 20 minutes the whole bag uh, I ain't never <laughs> yeah Throughout the day, I guess. I had to have this conversation with your daughter uh, a few days ago, maybe earlier this week. At some point, she was digging through your purse and found half a king size cookies and cream Twix. And I was like, your mom's probably had that for four weeks because she can't just eat a whole king size candy bar in one go. I can't. Like it takes her like a week and a half to eat four pieces of Twix. Mm -hmm. And a king size, she's like, yeah, true story. That's your mother right there. And she's yeah. like, well, I don't like this anyway. I was like, well... Like they're probably old. They are. <laughs> they're definitely old. 
Ah. Yeah, because then I... What happens... It's a hot mess. What happens is I eat some of it, and then I forget about it. Mm -hmm. And then I never eat it again, Mm because I forget about it. Oh, my God. I had a couple of Leslie moments today at work. That's not surprising. And I introduced them to the Leslie moments. Oh, boy. How'd that go? It went okay. <laughs> Did it create a giggle? I said yes. <laughs> I, I'm sitting up there just talking to God damn it, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> they said, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I just had a Leslie moment. Those happen all too often, really. <laughs> it's all she can do is laugh. Man, I gotta sit that down. They kind of do. Oh. Why? I'm just not fully awake yet. Sorry, I had to do the video before I went to bed. Yeah, it's uh, what time is it? I don't know. 11.41. You guys know what time I woke up today? 10.45 p.m. But in my defense, I didn't go to bed till almost 5. Well, you went to bed and then you... For like maybe two hours. And then I got back up to help with the... Hell, I fucking went to work on two hours of sleep. Yeah. And then I was like, fuck it. But I'm on my swing shift shit. So it's like... It's like I'm staying up and napping. Yeah. And it's fucking rough. So when I woke up at 1045, I'm like, oh my god, it's 1045 at night. Sorry. No, it's fine. No, nothing to be sorry about. I tried to let you sleep as long as I could. I kept the kids quiet. I tried. Yeah, it's fine. My daughter is just loud. She's a loud person. No queefing on video. That's nasty. That is nasty. Uh, I think I'm picking up a friend on the way home, and then I'm going to get your kids. I have a okay. late night tomorrow. Yes, you do. Sounds like fun. No. No? It doesn't at all. <laughs> it doesn't at all. <clears throat> Are you sure? I'm positive. HIV? <clears throat> no. No. Uh, Damn it, man. What? These legs hurt. Sorry about that. Take, Quit putting them in the air at work. I found why I was having that much fun anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Anyways, it's throat pounding Thursday. <clears throat> that Corey oh, mixed yeah, up. Ready. That's what I'm telling you guys. Get you get you a nice keeper like that. I I'm ready. Oh. I'm saying that you get get you Balls keeper and like all. that. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Sounds delightful Stick to me. Stick it in. Well, you want to leave me speechless? There you go. <laughs> You're smiling, though. Happy days to me. Remember those old Insight commercials? Smiling Bob. Oh, Lord, yeah. Yeah, that's that's me right there. Like, without the pill. <laughs> that yeah. book's due tomorrow. You know that, right? Yes, I gotta, gotta work on that. I have planned on it. Uh, I got two things uh, I gotta work on tonight. What? <clears throat> that and a junk robot. Is that do tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Oh. What? What's a junk robot? Basically, she says don't buy anything for this this uh project. Use things you have around the house. It has to have arms, legs. Can I have a beer can? <clears throat> I thought about that to be honest. I was like beer cans probably it has to be school appropriate. So beer cans. We do probably- have a can of Pepsi. Mm-hmm. And we have a whole bunch of milk jugs. You got a couple Girl. jugs. My God, can you hurry up? I'm back to the table. <laughs> Good times. For fuck's sake. FFS. Well, there's that. There's that. Um, how was your day, Mrs. McStud? It was okay. Busy? Yeah. Well. Robert's away. I'm literally about to do I don't know how that feeling was because I woke up and he was in the bath. I'm like, son of a bitch. I just got up and there's a bath being had. Fuck me. I'm sorry. I gotta take this off. That's okay. Are you uh, hot? No. Your, your head hurts? Yeah. My head would hurt if it looked like that too. I'm trying to eat dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um, what'd you get us for dinner tonight, Mr. McStead? A 30 meat croissant pizza. Mmm. That's some tasty ass shit. It is, but I left it for you to cook. <clears throat> oh, I just wish it cooked the same every time. I know it doesn't. These DiGiorno's, three, the, the croissant crusts are fucking amazing. So we always have to get the three meat because we're meat lovers. She likes her supreme shit, which I can do red and green peppers. But that's about the extent. 
Um, but these things don't always cook consistently. <clears throat> well, I always put my pizzas right on the rack to get a nice uh, crust going. And sometimes these... uh. You can see my gray hair with it all. That's okay. We're old. I got grays too. My grays because of you. My grays because of you. my kids. <clears throat> my grays. Shit, I fucking go to work and come home. What the fuck you got gray hair because of me for? Because you come home and you start kicking me in the balls. Okay, it's tomorrow I'll wake up that way. Damn, fuck that. Exactly, shit. shut no. up. Man. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, sometimes we put the pizza on the rack like normal. And it, like the last time we cooked it, cooked perfect. Perfectly cooked. Other times we cook it and the, it starts sinking in through the fucking slots mm -hmm. in the rack. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And you can barely get it out. Because the croissant, cr croissant, croissant crust is like, it's layered like a croissant. And then you try to get it out and the layers start coming off on the bottom. I'm like, well, sorry. <clears throat> the stove just didn't cook it right this time. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know if the crust is thicker or thinner sometimes, depending on how they produce them or what. But it's really good when it's cooked perfectly. Um, and croissant crust was an amazing idea. It was. Yeah. It's very buttery and mm -hmm. flaky. It's if you like croissants. I love some fucking croissants. Like, what do we use croissants for? Oh, uh, pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Yes, that's even better. I used to use... Actually, you know what? I never use biscuits. Never? I don't believe so. Oh. Ray taught me how to use croissants, and I... I mean, I was with him before my kids could even eat. Mm -hmm. So I was just buying... It was only me at the house, so I was just buying frozen dinners and stuff. Well, I gotta say, I think croissant would be the better option. Uh, I mean, you can get the butter-flavored biscuits, but I think the, the flakiness of the croissant really takes it a long way. I'm craving biscuits and gravy, too. Mm. You know how all these motherfuckers are out there buying ham and shit for fucking Easter? Oh, God. Like... You know what? I just thought about making a pizza or biscuits and gravy or... Um, yeah, I'm not going to fucking KFC, and I'm not going to fucking Popeyes. I'm not catering and shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I thought about? The only problem is we don't have enough uh, space to put the extra pizzas. Papa Murphy's. Oh, we could do the, that. But the problem is, the other ones that have to sit for a while, yeah. we don't have any place to keep them cool. This is true. In the meantime, while we cook them... Because Papa Murphy's is fucking stellar, especially that stuff. I don't want to try that Noble pizza. Romans. Oh, the new style Noble Romans? No, the Noble Romans up there where I admire. Yeah, it's a new style now. Like they, It's all like a craft pizza oh, I didn't realize that. and pub now. So, like, they... It's a, a hit and a miss on the reviews. Mm -hmm. So, I thought I need to try it on my own. Yeah, because sometimes... <clears throat> Everyone has their uh, personal preferences on what kind of pizza they like. Yeah. We're not too particularly picky. No. Like, it takes a lot for us to say that pizza sucks. Now, Meyer brand pizzas suck. Yeah. We tried was... those. Like, their crust is flavorless, and it tastes like a bag of dicks. I we... was trying to find some, uh... I really wanted French breads. Mm-hmm. But they weren't on sale. Fuck it. Our pizza was on sale for five bucks. Oh, well, we need to go. And a box of Supreme um, French breads. French breads. It's three. Was three twenty nine. Oh yes. <laughs> that was a tight ass coming out of me. Well, fuck. I I, I don't always get those when they're on sale. Well, I'm like, I and I tried to find like the Meyer brand French breads because those those are decent. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have Supreme. They only had pepperoni. I didn't fucking want just pepperoni. I don't know if Meyer sells Supreme. I know this Meyer doesn't. They only have either the the garlic cheese. Really? Yes. Or they have the three meat or pepperoni. Oh. At that Wal at that Meyer. But if it's like Walmart, different ones sell different things. Mm -hmm. You know, we go to one Walmart and have oh all the shit we want. Yeah. Like a uh, Wild Mike's pizza. Yeah. Can't find that at every Walmart, and that's some stellar ass shit right there. And Walmart pizzas are really good. Yeah, the great Meyer value. pizzas suck. Yeah, the great, especially once since great value start coming out with the uh, stuffed crust mm -hmm. pizzas. Uh, stuffed crust chicken bacon ranch or that stuffed crust five meat. Fucking a magical experience right there. But then you go get a Meyer pizza, which isn't stuffed crust at all, which I don't even know if it would help their crust. Their crust tastes like a, uh, a, a flavorless bag of dicks. 
Oof. What? That's not good. I guess if it's flavorless, how would you know it's a bag of dicks except for the shape of them? Well, I'm not real sh mm, uh, Yeah. You had to think and about that? And the smell, that? probably. <coughs> That'd probably turn me off right there. Ball smell. Like, it doesn't matter if you just clean or what. <laughs> like, they have a distinct odor. Well, I mean, everyone has a distinct odor. Are <laughs> you fucking kidding me? It's, it's your genitalia. <laughs> like, there's always... You're, there, there's a, you know, it's a distinct flavor to uh, uh, genitals. A flavor? <clears throat> yeah. What? I, I wouldn't say it's a flavor. I would. It's a smell. I enjoy the flavor. <laughs> I have flavor. Like, I have to work your flavor out. Like, I just can't lick it and be like, oh, yeah, that's yours. Like, I have to smell it. I know. What the motherfucker? <laughs> well, I'm glad we've tackled that topic tonight on the McStud Show. <laughs> Jesus, you never know what you're going to get from this woman. Wow. And I drank a little bit before you woke up. Which doesn't help. Yeah, it's funny because I checked the beer drawer today. I was like, oh, you should have plenty tonight. <clears throat> yeah. And I, I checked it again before the video. So I threw some more beers in the freezer. I'm like, damn, you've uh, enjoyed yourself. Uh, ago. And you know what the best thing part of it is? What? I haven't even been getting my own beers. Really? Yep. Oh, God. Well, boy, I got teenage kids. Oh, boy. And my legs are hurting, and I wasn't about to get up and walk to the fucking refrigerator for a goddamn beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, while you're over there. You know what? That's all right, because they ask for anything and everything at any part of the day. Hey, can you come down to my room? Let me tell you what I want, and then you can walk back to the kitchen and walk back to my room for a cup yeah. of tea. You got legs. Shit. You might, my family. Yeah, she calls me <laughs> in her room. She's like, hey, I need my nighttime meds I'm like oh well your brother's bathing so here's melatonin and what he went to drink with it so I have to go fucking I walked in there walk, had to walk and get the shit and walk it back see one of the one of the favorite things about my family which I really appreciate now I didn't as a kid is they'd be telling me you got younger legs than I do you can walk your ass into the kitchen or wherever you need to go and get yeah. that I'm like as a kid you're like fuck <clears throat> Then you get older, like, yeah, that makes sense is why they asked mm -hmm. us to go get shit. It does. Um, yeah, I definitely understand the uh, the young legs and the young back thing now. Oof. <clears throat> Oof. What? And he got this whole long message from his chiropractor today about, you have a lot of arthritis. I'm like, oh, oh that's amazing at the age of 39. Oh, that's my orthopedic back. <clears throat> I don't go to the chiropractor anymore. Oh, sorry. What did yeah. I say? Chiropractor. Sorry. But yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of arthritis. Fuck. 39. Yeah. And that, uh, looks like that L5 area down there, which I remembered. <clears throat> I was impressed that I remembered at the, at the, the visit because it made a lot of sense. That particular nerve is what goes down on my leg. I told you. Yeah. I said, that has something to do with your back. And you're like, oh, this is spring ankle. Is that it? It feels like a sprained ankle, but it really isn't. It's one of those weird things you never imagine it's going like to be. Like I kept telling you that. I know, but it's like throughout it, the whole thing, though. If you feel both, you just don't realize like they'd be intertwined. They are. Well, it's a whole fucking mess. <clears throat> Everything connects to everywhere in your body because that's how you function. Well, my dick's not connected to my big toe. It is by vein. There ain't no vein that goes Or something, my, I guarantee it. My I guarantee it connected some way to your fucking big toe. <laughs> if you fucking Google this whole thing, is like my dick connected to my fucking uh, big toe. What do we got here? My kid. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, we have a bathroom in the garage. <clears throat> ah, good times. Um, yeah, so she's going to find a way to figure out that my dick is connected to my big toe somehow. Because that's what she does. And quite frankly, that's what I would do too, wouldn't I? Yeah. I'd be like, look, babe, i done some research. Look. See, here we go. She's going to do it on video. 
But hey, on a side note, mm -hmm. for fuck's sake, hold on a minute. You know the, uh... I, I found bases I really wanted to buy. Okay. But I can't fucking find them right now. Oh. Um. This is on my nerves. Damn it, I just had a, I had a thought. Hold on, what was I looking at? Uh, how my, oh. my dick's connected to my big toe. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> shit, I just had a whole comment. Then you, the bathing suit threw me off. Um. Fuck a duck. Oh, yeah. The uh, downside of uh, sleeping till 10.45 p.m. and then deciding to do a video, it's like you're drinking uh, alcohol for breakfast. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, not something I typically do. Uh, but with the sleep schedule... Oh, my God. What? How your big toe can signal problems with your erection. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Do you guys with a big pee have a big penis? Oh. Uh. What, Here's what? how the big toe can indicate erectile dysfunction in men. Is oh. there really a connection between your penis size and your shoe size? Is your big toe <laughs> looks like you're 31% more likely to have penis issues? <laughs> See, and there it is. She totally finds a correlation. <laughs> are these medical websites or are these bullshit websites? This is a news channel. <clears throat> well, I don't trust the news. The one <clears throat> that... It's News 24, how's your big toe problem, can signal problems with your erection. That could be one of those fake news channel things. Yeah, they try to I don't know, it. it's men's health. <laughs> oh, men's health? Great. Kind of trust men's health. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> See, that's all it takes. I'm proven wrong. There is a correlation between my dick and my big toe. I told you. <laughs> Everything's connected. That's some fucking horse shit, literally. <laughs> Horse shit. Who would fucking think that, damn, stub my big toe can't get a heart on? Well, you didn't get a heart on because you stubbed your big toe. What the fuck does that mean? Shit. So what happens if I get my big toe amputated? I don't know. What uh, do big toes in? <laughs> <sighs> what do big toe and penis have in common? For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. Um, see, that's I, quite comical. That's some fucking crazy <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> the link between erectile dysfunction and gout. Oh. Well, I can see how so, some yeah. I can see how some foot pain would cause, you know, any kind of pain would cause some erectile dysfunction. Big hands, feet. Big hands, big feet. What actually determines a man's penis size. Oh, God. Uh, that reminds me, though. I just woke up. I totally forgot my main topic of today. Oh, what's that? Today is April 1st. Yes. Otherwise known as April Fool's Day. Otherwise known as the day on Facebook everyone fakes their pregnancies. Oh, for fuck's sake. And because, and, and it's so old, like, it's been going on for so long, but so many people think they're creating a special post saying, hey, I just found out I'm pregnant today, when everyone knows it's April Fool's Day. And they expect to see someone saying that. I just found out I was pregnant. Pre they my ass. Um, and, and I'm fixed. Yeah. April Fools. Because <laughs> <laughs> you always know these. Like, there's some really good April Fools posts you can post. But the most overused and fucking played out one is I'm pregnant on April 1st. Yeah. I'm like, bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, people get pregnant every, or they find out they're pregnant every day of the year. Mm -hmm. April 1st is no exception to that. However, April 1st is also the <clears> biggest <throat> day for bullshit. <clears throat> like, oh, yes, we're expecting. Yeah, I'm expecting a big fucking fat turd here in about 45 minutes. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? You probably really are. Probably. But can we, can we at least be creative about our April Fool's pranks? Why well, does always have to be pregnancy? Just because you're a female doesn't mean you got to be pregnant. Come up with something different. Like, oh, I just found out that uh, my left titty is bigger than my right. And, I mean, depending That's on... That's true. Th that is true. They're, they're, That's science. Titty, yeah, titties are not the same size. Balls not are not the same biology. size. Um, that's a proven fact, you know. One ball is bigger than the other. One titty is bigger than the other. Not yeah. everyone's fully symmetrical. I'm sure hands and feet probably have, you know, a slight difference. 
and leg size. Well, you got, yeah, your legs and arms have different sizes too, depending on what your dominant and your non-dominant leg or arm are. Um, I don't know if there's a correlation. You know, there's always those memes about you've been jerking off a lot, so you got a muscular forearm. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's true or not. Like, I don't know if you really work your forearm or that, or if that's more of like an elbow, uh, or bicep thing. I'm sorry, but it <coughs> probably depends on the stroke. What did you get so fucking scientific about? <coughs> this? Uh, it depends on the way you're laying. It depends on how you're stroking it. If you're like tight against it, or if you're lax, it probably depends on all that. And now Miss McStead has become an expert in men's masturbation. I'm just telling you. <laughs> like if you use your muscles to tighten it around it, then yeah, I could see that. Yeah, the grip. Yeah. Um, I could kind of see that too. <clears throat> that makes a bit of sense, which I can understand that. But I'd, I've never read it. <clears throat> I've, you know, I've Googled a lot of fucking things in my life. That's I something I've... Google that too. <clears throat> no, it's fine. Here, I will. I've never actually Googled, you know, does masturbation strengthen your dominant masturbating arm? That's, <laughs> it's not something I really thought about. And I think about everything. Do I not? You do. Yes. Anything and everything. I, I, I probably even... Th I, no, I actually haven't thought. Like, Can you strengthen your butthole? Now, after working as a correctional officer, I know you can stretch your butthole to a magical size to fit damn near anything you want in there. Remember those videos of the dude's uh, keister in the, the, yeah. the pistol without a fucking trigger guard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, and you can you can you can stretch your vagina out, just as you can a butthole. Now, can you stretch a pee hole out? I've never looked at that. Nothing I've really been interested in. Like at what point would I want to stretch my pee hole out? And as far as pee hole stretching, you know that's your urethra, and I guess if you're stretching it, you're only stretching it to an extern a certain extent because. That goes all the way to what your bladder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, can you really shove something all the way in? Like, you know, you can get catheters and shit. That's a whole fucked up thought. Jesus Christ. Here we go with the McStud's random thoughts of the night. <clears throat> um, what are you doing? Go back and forth with the Pope. Oh God, this McStud's Facebook and the Pope. <laughs> Not the real Pope, the Pope from uh, the dive bar. Uh, but that's about as real as you get. He said that he wouldn't... I uh, said, uh, you're live and I ain't get a message. <laughs> because typically my messages go off for that. Mm -hmm. He goes, because I thought it was a failure. I said, no it isn't. I depended on that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things, Miss McStead. Mm. See, now she's got the Pope on live. Um, what's another thing that sucks on April Fool's Day? <clears throat> oh, I know it's really, really irritating. Did you have any April Fool's jokes at your job? <laughs> no, but I made one, and then it came true, and I was pissed. <laughs> oh, what was your April Fool's joke? <laughs> so we got... I usually get vouchers, bills... Mm -hmm. That's a process mm -hmm. for this one school mm -hmm. on Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, they were there when I got to work today. Like, they were already submitted. Oh. <clears throat> I said, watch it be an April's Fool joke. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to process these because it's going to be, you know, they're going to add another 18. <laughs> mm -hmm. All fucking day. They added like four or five to that fucking post, and I still didn't get them fucking processed until very end of the fucking day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was pissed. Well, that's what you get for making a work April Fool's joke. I'm sorry, no matter what job I've been to, you always got these cheesy ass motherfuckers making the stupidest fucking April Fool's jokes. That's thinking they're cute. Dude, it's not cute. Ma'am, it's not cute. Whatever the fuck. Person, it's not cute. 
Like, come up with something. Like, once again, come up with something creative. Original. That's like saying, uh, see you next year on January 31st. Mm. Shut the fuck up about that. That's stupid. Or They always said that at school, too. Your Christmas break. Spaghetti. See you guys next year. <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking hilarious, you fucking idiot. Oh, that, I'm having trouble drinking all this. Are you? Why? I think I need to go to bed. Uh, you gotta eat. I really... Yeah, but that's a long time in the waiting. It is a long time in the waiting. Um, did you have a good day, though? Sure. Other than being busy? I don't really know. Ever. I don't ever really know if I have a good day or not. I don't know. I did get an amazing fucking jersey. Well, that's good. Oh, my God. That jersey is... <laughs> so I got Miss McSutter her own uh <clears throat> she likes the Miami Dolphins colors. I got their I got her the modern uh Miami Dolphins color jersey custom with her name and her favorite number on it. And that came in the mail today. So I'm glad you like that. And I wore my new it, shoes today. Oh god. And that was fucking amazing. Uh, were they comfortable today? Yeah, did I show them my new shoes? No. I did it. They're no. over there. Well, Give them. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, these shoes, I don't know what style they are, but... There you go. I'll get you one. These shoes right here <laughs> are amazing. And if you look at my shoe, shoe stack, every fucking one of them is pink except one pair. <laughs> yeah, you got another pair that has no pink. My daughter was making fun of me because all my shoes are pink. <laughs> and I said not these but she like pictured my whole stack over here mm -hmm. and all of them had pink except these but I wear kid sizes so <laughs> might have a little bit more color it's not so bad buying a and they're a little kid cheaper. sizes yeah because she has that luxury and I can always find her some good kid sized shoes that are cute <laughs> yes Oh, They're amazing. Lord Jesus. But the, these are amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> and you got two more pair coming. Two? Mm-hmm. I only know of one. Hmm? Oh, you got those. So one more pair. My bad. <clears throat> oh, I was like, I only knew of one. They were, they are, uh... They're just like those. Reds. They're just like they those. They're red and purple. Red and purple. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. And black. <laughs> um. I was going to say black and red. Yeah. But no, really, I might as well just break it to you. You got two pair coming. What did you do? I found another pair like that, different color. <laughs> My coworker goes. Because <laughs> I told her I really like these, and I was like, I told him all the way to work today, I want like six more pair of different colors. <laughs> so I wore the other ones in today, and she's like, oh my God, did you get another new pair of shoes? I was like, I really did. <laughs> I was like, I told him I wanted six more pairs. What color are those? Uh, I can't show them to you because they're on my computer. They're not on my computer, my phone. Um, you'll be impressed. I'll show them to you when the video's mm -hmm. done. It was the only other color. I wear them all day. It was the only other pair I could find with a color that I knew you'd like. They're so like, I, uh, what was it? Yesterday morning, the morning before, I was looking. I was like, oh, those are it right there. <laughs> yeah, I will. Those shoes, I don't know what style they are, but they give my toes a whole lot of room. But they fit me amazing. Like, well, it's it's pretty cool. Well, the ones I got you will be... The three of the pair are Nike Air Max Tailwinds. I can't remember what those are called. The pink ones you just showed. But they have the same Air Max at the bottom and the sole. Mm -hmm. Which are comfortable as fuck. And... Miss McStud's always on her feet, so the least I can do is getting her some fucking comfortable can shit save on there? to make her day a little bit better. I'm not real sure, but I wear five and a half kids. Yeah. <laughs> you tell you, oh shit, we're 35 minutes in. Oh. Sorry. Oh, well, you're okay. It's been a good video. This is our last video until Sunday evening. Um... We'll miss you guys. I don't know 
why you gotta do that. It's pretty stupid. Well, hmm. Yeah. I can't even. I can't even either. Bitches be tripping. Bitches be tripping. This is true. The whole time. The cornerstone of any nutritional breakfast. Bitches tripping. I need breakfast tomorrow. I told you to get you some breakfast. Because I might be, I might not be able to wait on pizza. <laughs> I'm tired as fuck. Well, I can, uh. Like, I kind of wanted to wake you up and then just go to bed, but no. You should have. I got all night to fuck around. No, I want to do a video. Mm hmm. But I'm, I'm really fucking wore out. I really am. I bet. It's a. Uh, we have both been really fucking worn out. And any sleep that you and I can get right now is like a magical moment. We <laughs> might have to clean the roommate up. Okay. Like if I go to bed before that, mm -hmm. like, if you're not comfortable, then I need to do it. <clears throat> yeah. I understand that. It's been a whole fucking mess. <laughs> I was going to try to leave early tomorrow. But I can't. Oof. Because the other two girls are leaving early and I'm the only one there. Ain't that about a bitch. You always get fucked with that, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Lord Jesus. Hold on. <clears throat> are you? Oh, shit. That probably didn't help your sleepiness. <clears throat> you all done now? Anyways, thanks for watching, motherfuckers. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. We'll catch bitches on Sunday. Deuces, bitches. Ugh.